Hey everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a pop-up card to share and this one I got the idea from Jennifer McGuire, but I did all my own measurements because my measurements didn't line up with the ones that she gave and I'm doing a regular standard five and a half by four and a quarter card. This card will fold flat in your envelope, but it has dimension on it so you can see the dimension. It's really cute and it's easy and it's fun to, to make. So this is what I'm sharing today. What you are going to need for all of this. I'm using quite a few stamp sets, but use what you have. This is my favorite. I'm using the all bundled up. You know how much I love this mousse on here. The raccoon's adorable too. They're all so cute. I just really love this one. So I am using this one. I'm using the it's feeling a lot like Christmas sentiment and for this one I'm only using this little package you can just cut out a little square put a bow on it I mean just whatever you have and then I'm using the Merry Christmas from the celebrate with tags because that's what I stamped here on the inside of this card all right so that's what I'm using for that I'm also using the stitched rectangles and this is how I cut out my window it does have stitching around the window and I'll tell you the measurements of the one that I used for this. So this one is, the rectangle itself is like three inches by four and three eighths inches. So that is the size of the rect rectangle. And then for the back, I embossed it with the wrapped in texture embossing folder. And I'm using actually this little dotted one. It kind of looks like snow to me. So that's the one I'm using for that. I'm also using the gnome designer series paper storybook gnomes so i'm using this right here but you can use any of these patterns um, on the back sides of this there's snowflakes there's all kinds of things you can use and you don't even have to mat it i just decided i wanted to get it give it a little bit of extra to the front so i have the little christmas trees on here but you don't have to mat it you can just use a solid piece of cardstock as well all right so the measurements for these will be all in the inspiration sheets, but I'm going to go over it. It's a five and a half by four and a quarter card base. So it is, I'm making it a top folding, like come opening like that. You are also going to need a piece that's seven and a half by four and a quarter. That is the top part of it. And then to mat it, you're going to need a piece five and a quarter by four and a quarter. If you want to mat the full thing, it will be five and a half by four and a quarter. But I just left a little bit on the side. I don't know. I just thought it looked nice like that. And I think that's everything. You do need a piece of cardstock. And I'm using the thick cardstock because it really holds its shape a lot better. You do need some for stamping. And we are going to use the Stamparatus. By the way, if you are new to this channel, I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications each time I upload a new video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. The old routine of comment below and share. And I hope you all subscribe who hasn't subscribed yet. All right, everyone. So I am going to stamp these images, the little moose and the little raccoon. So I'm using the Stamparettis because you know I love a dark, dark... <laughs> Um, imprint and I am using my brother's scan and cut to cut this out so it's important to have it dark because it will read it a lot easier so we're going to stamp them both at the same time I'm going to grab my little tool here stamping tool and it will be listed in the description below because I always get people asking Everything that I use that is not stamping up is listed in the description and where I got it. And if you use the link, um, it is no extra charge to you, but I do get a little bit of a kickback from Amazon for that. And when I say a little, I mean a little. <laughs> but every little bit counts, right? All right, so that is our stamping right there. I already cut them out with the scan and cut. So here's our little moose and our little raccoon. Again, I am going to refer you to, if you have a brother scan and cut and you're wanting to know how to use it, 
Try Kim at Papered Chef. She is an Instagram friend of mine and she is a fellow Stampin' Up! demonstrator as well. Alright, so we are going to go ahead and color him. I am speeding through the coloring today because I've colored both of these before and you've all seen all the coloring. I will tell you what I'm using for it. Uh, the colors though, so you know what I'm using. And it's I'm using light and dark soft succulent. And I'm using bronze and light and dark crumb cake. That is for the mousse. And I'm using re real red for his hat and scarf. And I am using smoky slate, light and dark, and the light basic black, and the light and dark pool party. And that is for our little um, raccoon here. So like I said, I'm going to go ahead and color and I am going to speed through all of this. I will bring you in so that you can see it a little bit closer. And we will get started. Okay, so we have them all colored and ready to go. I was trying to really hurry through this because there is a lot of coloring with it, but it's so worth it. These are so adorable. All right, so on with the card. So we are going to take our piece here, and we are going to score this. And I'm going to go ahead and use my trimmer to score this. And we are going to score this on both sides at the same. So we're going to score it at one half and at one. And then turn it around and again score it at one half and one. All right, that's it and all the scoring. And so we're gonna map this piece. We're gonna map the front right here. And I think I'm gonna use my stamp and seal for that. This paper is so cute, y'all. Oh my gosh, I love this paper. And you're gonna mat it between the score marks here. And then we are going to cut our window in it here. So you want to place that right in the center. Make sure it's around the same on both sides. I'm going to go ahead and run this through the cut and emboss. And I'm also going to take my embossing folder on this one. And we are going to run this through as well. So I'm going to place it on here just like this. And it's just going to emboss the middle because that's all you're going to see for this. And I'm going to emboss this and I'm going to cut this and I'll be right back with it. Okay, so I have this cut out right here. We're going to remove this. And there is our little window. And then I embossed that piece. And we have that ready to go. So what you're going to do on this is you are going to fold this in a mountain valley style. This is what is going to create the pop-up part of it. And 
we are going to attach this to the front right here. So when you attach it, you want it to be closed so it lines right up to the front of your card. So I am going to do that and I recommend using wet glue for this so you can move it around until it attaches. You can hold it down and you do have to hold this a minute because it tends to want to pop up. So I'm going to grab this one and I'm going to grab this side first. Line that up really good right to the edge there. And I'm going to hold that for a second and then we're going to take this one and we are going to line that up. Line it right up to the edge. Right there and you do have to hold it a while. What I did is I put my block on here for a minute and it holds it down. I mean it's doing well right now but I let it sit there for about a minute like that and then I just went back to it so to make sure that it was the glue was dry and everything was all good. Alright so you can see the pop-up effect that it gives it. Alright so we're going to add our little raccoon first. Again I'm going to use wet glue on him. We're going to place him down here. And I'm going to grab my other piece of uh, cardstock here and we are going to stamp and we're going to stamp the packages. So I'm using Pool Party, Garden Green, and Real Red for that. And we're going to stamp three individual ones. You do have to cut these out by hand. In fact, I didn't even check to see if there was a die for this one. I just cut it out because it's so simple, y'all, to cut these little ones out. I'm not even taking time to clean them, <laughs> which I should be doing because I don't want to take up too much of your time on this. Alright, so I am going to cut these all out by hand and then we'll be ready to go. Okay, so all of our three packages are all ready to be placed on there. We're going to put the mousse on first. Now when you put the mousse on, you want to only put it on the very edge right here. So that's the only part that's going to be attached to there. If you want, you can attach, you know, a little bit up at the top here and at his feet, but I'm just going to put some on the edge here. I think I will put some up there. And then you're just going to place him right there. And then we're going to put our packages on, but we are going to pop up the packages with dimensionals. It just gives it a little added dimension. So he's going to be holding those packages. to hair. Okay, just like that. Last but not least, we need to do the sentiment. And I actually just used like a half inch piece. Um, let me measure it and I'll tell you. I forgot to measure that part. So it's half inch by about three and an eighth inches. But I'm just going to stamp it and I am going to cut it by hand this time. It says it's feeling a lot like Christmas. Make 
make sure I get this nice and straight. And I think I'll use my, I think I'm going to cut this side a little bit smaller. And I'm going to use my seal here. And we're going to add that right to the bottom. And then I am going to also add a little bit of Wink of Stella here. And it adds just enough little glitter. You know how you have to have some glitter at Christmas. I love putting a little some just, oops, got red on there. I'm just going to do it on his scarf and their hats and scarves. If you're going to use the red, it always picks up the red. So be real careful on that. And on the little packages. And it's so cute, it just has just enough little sparkle to it. So there you have it, everyone. And it'll fit in your envelope. Just flatten it out when they pick it out. It's got that little bit of dimension. It's so cute and it's so easy to do. Y'all have to give this one a try. It's really, really fun. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed it. If you need any supplies, all will be listed on my blog at stampingwithamorai.com. You can shop right from my blog. Have a blessed day, everyone, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later, everyone. Bye.